besides sending the police, you might want to send an ambulance or a hearse. Hello, welcome to Billy Ho Sports for a special presentation on the U.S. Open final round highlights, recap, analysis, and just kind of an overall uh, Father's Day uh, extravaganza for uh, everybody that maybe the, the, your dad's uh, maybe like their NCIS reruns on CBS or something like my dad does. Or if, uh, you know, you were all dadded out from the, the day and drinking and, and having a good time with your families and you weren't and you're on the East Coast, the best coast. Uh, and it, you know, and maybe you just kind of crashed out, uh, and didn't get to catch the ending. We're going to go through kind of a, the, the entire final round from the perspective of the leaders, Wyndham Clark, Rory McElroy kind of thing. Uh, those were the two main focuses on the, uh, golf. And then there was obviously, well, we'll just go talk us open. Uh, but before we get to that, please uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Smash the like button on the video and uh, leave a comment and uh, and let me know where you think Wyndham Clark won or Rory lost yesterday. And uh, we'll get to all that in the video. So uh, let's go. Okay, uh, looking at the leaderboard to begin the, the fourth round, final round Sunday, uh, you had... Ricky Fowler, uh, the golden boy of many PGA circles and a guy who has yet to taste major championship victory in the lead, tied with Wyndham Clark, who himself is just finding his way at 29 years old uh, after being a big college pro prospect who has finally broken through this year with a big elevated win at the Wells Fargo Championship, uh, is dialed in and ready to try to win a major. Now, then we have Rory McIlroy, one back at nine under, and a couple others underneath him, Scotty Shuffler, Dustin Johnson, and Xander Shoffley, uh, all stalking. Uh, poor, uh, just before we get into the other golf, uh, the X-Man hung in there Saturday after you're looking at right now his meltdown on the very first hole Saturday, the easy wide open par five where he put his tee shot in the bunker, and then – took two more whacks to get the ball out of the bunker in route to an opening bogey six, which was basically giving up two shots to the field uh, right off the bat Saturday. Uh, he did manage to hold it together and get back to even par by the turn, but too many bogeys on the back nine put him four shots back coming into Sunday. Now, Rory, I mentioned his game, uh, well-rounded into form, and the course sets up perfectly for him. And at least that's the way the commentators were telling us all weekend, uh, that the course couldn't have been set up any better for Rory McIlroy. So everybody's po poised and at the betting windows to get Rory's live number and all that good stuff. So anyway, the day starts out. Uh, hey, the other one back there, DJ, probably would have, uh, Dustin Johnson would have been tied for the lead had he not made a quad on number two Friday. He made an eight on hole number two, and he played that hole in plus six for the entire week. So that was pretty much his nemesis and his undoing. Uh, so anyway, for the, for the, uh, the front nine for Clark began the same way, uh, it did on Saturday. He's just peppering, uh, fairways left and right. And knocking the ball on the green, lag putting will loom large as I, I'll go ahead and foreshadow that. Uh, Rory starts off with a brilliant uh, eagle look on one, but he's only able to manage that birdie. Uh, so basically the first five or six holes, Clark's making birdies and Rory's missing some fairways, being forced to scramble. Uh, he did have a decent look at number three, but that was a, a really tricky putt from 12 foot that he missed. Uh, the big issue uh, Rory had on the front nine was the big four-foot miss for birdie on that par five eighth hole. You know, with just the two par fives, you cannot do that anyway. So uh, you get uh, Wyndham Clark to 12 under by the time we hit the turn, and the putting woes continue on the back nine for Rory with birdie misses at number 10 and 11, but maybe the writing on the wall hits us at that second par 5, 14th hole, where after a couple of bad mistakes off the tee and, a, on, and a, an attempt to lay up, 
Uh, Rory makes a really great fourth shot into the green for a nine foot par putt. He clearly needed badly, but he just could not find it. And then, of course, you see Wyndham Clark up next on the very next hole, finding the fairway. Second shot into the green, in two, no problem. Uh, but the key for the day for him was the lag putting, because obviously this hole, you're going to see it. But on the previous two holes, he two putted from 33 foot and then 63 foot for pars. And then he had just 20 feet for this uh, two putt easy birdie. Three shot lead with four to play. And so naturally now we're going to do be due for a little bit of drama. So the next hole, 16, is where it appears like nerves are kicking in. Or actually, I should say the uh, the 15th hole is the par three. He hits a poor tee shot there and then has to get up and down, but he leaves his second shot a bit too far and then has a rare uh, miss for par uh, to drop back to 11. And, you know, that's excusable. Bogeys will be made. It's the U.S. Open. But the next hole, 16, is where it really appears nerves kick in. You can see him going off the tee and finding the uh, very poor tee shot into the bunker where he's uh, definitely in a bit of bother. So he's in a bad spot. He makes the right play, takes his medicine, punches it out, and then, and then plays an absolute dime into the green uh, after the layup for about a seven-foot par putt, which he misses. And then you think, well, if he makes that, gosh, if he makes that par putt there, you know, it's definitely over. But that miss drops him back to 10. Now we think Rory's back in play. Uh, but, you know, with the difficulty in the remaining holes, Rory just could not get anything close to make that birdie to get to double digits. So Bo he birdies the first and then bogeys that par five to finish even 70 on the day and nine under for the tournament. Meanwhile, Wyndham Clark kind of writes the ship with a brilliant lag putt on 17 from 53 foot to make a par and then comes up to 18 with a one shot cushion and needing to just make par here to get it done. And what does he do? Finds the fairway finds the green and leaves it 60 foot, which is pushing it a little bit. But after we've seen him lag putt all day, he rolls this one all the way up to 17 inches. There you have it. Your 2023 United States open champion, Wyndham Clark and a well-earned victory. Uh, really, really grinding hard all day long. Uh, very few mistakes, really. I mean, other than that, probably that drive on uh, on 16, you know, everybody makes bogeys, but he really recovered well. That could have been a really disastrous hole. I mean, he could have been staring double in the face there easily. And Wyndham Clark, uh, and I, like I mentioned on my previous broadcast, came into the tournament ranked 32nd in the world. I said if he plays well this week, he is going to jump massively. Well, he's number 13 in the world. And he is in right there among some elite. Now he's probably punched his ticket to the Ryder Cup th uh, next year. So uh, really, guy, I mean, everything's coming up uh, roses for a win DC. Uh, and people are probably going to say Rory failed miserably. But, I, you know, me, I don't agree. I do think he missed some opportunities. And he will be thinking about it for a long time, I imagine. Uh and, he, you know, nobody's harder on Rory than Rory, so you're not going to be on Twitter giving him a bad time. He's not going to be giving himself. So, anyway, that's going to do it for the show. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope if you missed out on the U.S. Open last week or last Sunday that uh, this gave you at least some uh, highlights and some a uh, little bit of uh, insight into what went on. And uh, until the next video, which we're coming out with Travelers, the preview show is already out, so check that out. And the DraftKings show probably be coming up tomorrow. So until then, we'll see you soon. Thanks again.